Greetings everyone, we are here again to study the Word of God, but before we uh, start, let me greet you. Good day, good evening po, depende po sa time zone ano po, na ating kinalalagyan, maaring sa lugar mo ay gabi ngayon, or tanghali, or umaga, or hapon. Anyway, whatever time you have, praise God, I greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day. Praise God. I decree and declare that you are all healthy and strong in the name of Jesus and that we are all free from all this infection in the name of Jesus. Sapagat ito pong gawa ng jablo na ito ay walang karapatan at walang kapangyarihan laban sa ating mga sarili because we are all people of God. We were created in the image and likeness of God at ang bawat isa po sa atin ay templo ng Holy Spirit. If you have received Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. You are a property of God. Kaya reject in the name of Jesus lahat ng infection in Jesus' name. The name of Jesus is the name above every name. And every knee will bow and every tongue will confess to the glory of God the Father, saying that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen po. Kaya itong coronavirus na to, I command you to bow your knee unto the name of Jesus Christ. You have no power against the name, against the blood, and against the Holy Spirit of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So our topic for today will be taken from the book of Matthew. Ano po? Ang title po nito is The Fate of the Centurion. The Fate of the Centurion. Itong babasahin po natin. But the title of our message is You Have Power in Your Own Faith. You Have Power in Your Own Faith. Ang bawat creation po ng God, ng ating Panginoon, na, na bawat human being. Tayo po, ano? We have power na ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Ito po ay nandito sa ating puso, sa ating spirito. This is the power of faith na tinatawag. Ano po? So, basahin po natin ang story ng centurion. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. And he said, Lord, my servant lies at home, paralyzed and in terrible suffering. Jesus answered, I will go and heal him. The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, with soldiers under me. I say to this man, go, and he goes. And to that one, come, and he comes. And to the other one, I say, do this, and he will do that. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you the truth, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and from the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go! It will be done just as you believe it would. And his servant was healed at that same very hour the Bible says. Praise God. Purin pong Panginoon sa pagkabasa ng kanyang salita. So dito po nakita po natin na isang centurion. A centurion is a uh, Roman soldier who is handling or leading uh, 100 people, 100 soldiers under his authority. Ano po? Under his command. So ang tawag po sa kanya centurion, ito po isang makapangyarihan na tao. Ngunit Through His humility, siya po ay lumapit sa ating Panginoon who is just a simple carpenter, a prophet. Ano po? Jesus was a prophet in this... Uh, uh, Jesus ministered as a prophet ano po? dito sa Bible. But after He died and rose again from the dead, He regained the authority and power again na meron siya, Panginoon. Meron siya uh, uh, while He was in heaven. Ano po? And ngayon, presently, Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the creator of the universe. Siya po ay nagkatawang tao, praise God, but ngayon, bumalik na po ang kanyang kapangyarihan at ang kanyang authority after the resurrection. And Jesus gave us His name, sabi ni Jesus, I give you authority to use my name to cast out devils. I give you authority over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall harm you, sabi po ng Luke 10.19. Pasahin po natin, para makita po natin, ano? Napaka-importante po nito. Okay, Luke chapter 10 verse 19. I'm holding the Bible. Praise God kung makikita po nyo. Ang sabi po ng Panginoon, 
I am in the book of Matthew. I go to Luke. Luke 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, praise God. Ang sabi ng Panginoon dito. Verse 18, he replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, sabi ng Panginoon, and to overcome all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the Spirit submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. So, binigyan po tayo ng kapangyarihan ng Panginoon to use the name of Jesus against all the enemies here in this world. Every demon here on earth, in, in heaven, in the heavenlies, no po, hindi po doon sa heaven ng Panginoon, in the heavenlies, will bow down and submit to the name of Jesus Christ. So even this coronavirus will bow down because coronavirus is a name. Sabi po ng Bible, every name will submit and will bow down to the name of Jesus. This is the reason why palagi niyo po mapapansin na sinasabi ko na in the name of Jesus Christ, coronavirus, I bind you. Sapagat sinabi rin po ng Panginoon, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Ano man ang talian mo or gapusin mo, dito sa lupa, ay gagawin dito sa heaven, sabi ng Panginoon. So we bind the devil, we bind the enemy, we bind coronavirus in the name of Jesus Christ. Pag ang tao ay bound, ang isang animal ay bound, sila po ay hindi makakilos sapagat sila po ay nakagapos. Ganon din po sa spiritual world. Ano po? We bind the devil, we bind the spirits, and we bind coronavirus in the name of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit and the angels of God will bind them in Jesus' name, will subdue them, will subdue them in Jesus' name, and they will have no power when they are bound and subdued by the Holy Spirit and the angels of God. This is the reason why I'm telling you, you have power na ibinigay sa iyo ng Panginoon if you are a Christian. You have power to use the name of Jesus. You have the authority power, Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we must live in authority and victory every day. Kagaya po dito sa istorya po natin, ano po? Sabi ng Lord, hindi ako nakakita ng ganitong kalaking pananampalataya sa Israel. Why? Nakita po ni Lord Jesus ang faith ng centurion. Faith sa kanyang sarili at sa kanyang authority at faith din ng centurion kay Jesus Christ. Sabi ng centurion, Lord, you don't need to go to my house. Just speak the word because I believe that you have power in your words. You have authority in your words and my servant will be healed. Alam po ng centurion na may kapangyarihan ang ang, ang, ang words ng ating Panginoon na Jesus has authority and power over sickness and diseases. Sapagat ang centurion, alam po niyang kanyang sariling power, na meron siyang power over all his people sa ilalim po ng kanyang pamamahala. Ano po? And this centurion knows ano po, na may kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoon. Kaya sinabi niya, Lord, just say the word and my servant will be healed. At sinabi ng Panginoon, hindi ako nakakita ng ganitong kalaking pananampalataya sa Israel. Kaya, go kung ano ang iyong pananampalataya. Maganap na wa sa iyo, sabi ng Panginoon. Be it unto you as you believe, said the Lord Jesus Christ. And at that moment, sabi po ng Bible, gumaling ang servant ng centurion. Ano po? Now, ano po lesson dito? Tayo pong mga believers, tayo pong mga Christian, every human being actually has power. The Bible says, we have power ano po, in our voice, in our tongue, the power of life and death is in the tongue. Whatever we say, it will eventually happen. At pag mas malakas po ang ating uh, pananampalataya through reading the Word of God and listening through the Word of God, lalakas ang ating faith, then our power will be much more strong. Ano po? Magiging mas malakas ang ating kapangyarihan over every situation in our lives, over sickness and diseases, over poverty, and over every negative things na nangyayari sa ating buhay, we can command them in the name of Jesus to conform kung ano ang nararapat sa ating buhay. Ano po? Example po, praise God, hallelujah. Let love and joy and peace and prosperity be upon my life, be upon my family in the name of Jesus. 
We need to do this every day. Let all sickness and diseases flee away from me and my family in Jesus' name. I bind all sickness and diseases in the name of Jesus Christ. Let financial blessings come upon me and my family in Jesus' name. And Satan, I bind you against my money. I bind you against my blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. If we use our power, we use our authority every day, we will walk in victory. My friends, binigay na po sa atin ng Panginoon ang authority. Itinurn over na po ni Jesus ang power and authority dito sa sanlibutan upang tayo ay mamuhay ng victorious every day. Sabi po ng 1 John ano po, 5.4, tayo ay lalakad sa pamagitan ng pananampalataya. Our victory will cause us to triumph. In, 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 in everything, actually, in everything. Ano po? Ang ating pananampalataya ang magbibigay ng victory sa ating buhay. Kaya kung gusto mo lumakad sa victory, health, healing, strength, love and joy and peace to be upon your family, use your power, use your faith. Use your faith. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Tayo daw po ay magtatagumpay kung patuloy natin gagamitin ang ating pananampalataya, ang ating authority in the name of Jesus. Actually, you are victorious already. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus our Lord and our God, the Bible says. We are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus our Lord and our God. And God causes us to triumph in all things. How? If we use the name of Jesus, if we use our authority, then God can cause all things in our lives to become victorious, to become perfect in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we can walk in health every day. We can walk in joy and peace and happiness every day. We can walk in prosperity every day of our lives because of the name of Jesus. Because of the authority and power na binigay sa atin na dapat po natin gamitin every day. Amen? We walk by faith and not by sight. Sabi po ng Bible, ano man ang nakikita natin mga negative situation in our lives, don't be swayed. Hindi ka dapat matangay ng mga negative situation. Praise God. Look at the name of Jesus. Look at your power. Look at the name of Jesus. Tignan mo kung sino ka. And then, exercise your authority by using the name of Jesus Christ. Ano masabi ng Biblia? Ikaw ay tagumpay na. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus our Lord and our God. We are the heads and not the tails. We are at the top and never at the bottom, ang sabi ng Biblia. If you are the head, then you are in control. Can you say amen? If we are at the top, then we are in control. Amen? If we are the conqueror, then we are in control. Praise God, control your life and proceed to victory and prosperity and health and healing and happiness and joy every day of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you learned something today. Praise God about your authority and about your power. Praise God and I expect you to use your authority and power and walk in victory every day in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Paul, let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, let victory, victory, advancement, increase, promotion, success, and prosperity be upon all the viewers in Jesus' name. Let health and healing and strength, wisdom and knowledge and understanding, love and joy and peace and shalom be upon all the viewers in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Say, Lord, I claim and believe I receive them in Jesus' name. See you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye.